Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're actually going to stop with text buttons. We're going to stick with GUIs though, and we're going to move on to image buttons. This tutorial will get to scripting actually, because image buttons are basically, you take the, some of the stuff but um, text buttons have, and everything that an image label has, you put it together and there you have an image button. The scripting is almost exactly the same except there is no text variable. So we're going to get into that now. Step one is we're going to delete add didn't mean to do that. We're going to delete this and we're going to insert go over here image button. Ah, see the select insert object never stays. I really hope Roblox learns to cache that soon. So this image button, we're just going to keep it untouched right now. We're going to go to image label, and we're going to copy its image. We're going to paste it into imi our image button, and don't worry about this modal thing right now. I'll get to the modal um, later when we start working with stuff where modal will be useful. Put that there. Go into image label, we'll copy the position, paste the position into this. Because this is the lazy way to do things, guys. Image button size. Oh, that's right. We have is it relative XX? Yeah, it's relative XX. And now we can get rid of this image label. This image button is there. So now we have this image button, which I've actually never tried the styles on these. Okay, I get it. So the styles are the same for image buttons as they are with text buttons, except instead of having text, you have an image, which has to be scaled all the way. So you know what, just to give it more of that imagey feel, we'll give it the Roblox button uh, style. Now. In this image button, we're going to insert a script. And just to prove that it's the same, we're just going to write the script from two tutorials ago, uh, from Monday's tutorial. No, wait, Tuesday's tutorial. Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Script.parent. Dot mouse button one. Click connect function and if you guys didn't don't know what this is doing right now please go watch my tutorial from Tuesday I believe it was episode 31 of Roblox game development so now I'm just going to prove that this script is the same to you guys even though you know I've never given you a reason to doubt me never I've never, you know, messed up in a tutorial. So now we're just going to watch that output and I will click it. Hello world. Easy. Now let's go back into our script. And this is the fun part. First off, okay, so we have this image label right now, right? We're going to change this image's image, or this image label's image to be absolutely nothing at first. And we're going to go through our process that we went to through last tutorial to get the text properties name. This is the process when you're not sure exactly what, how to do what you're looking for, but you know the, well, okay. This is the process you take when you know what you want the property to be, but you don't know what the property's name is. It's a very simple process, and you guys could probably all figure it out by a simple use of your inductive reasoning. However, we're just going to go through, we're going to find the object we want to change a property of, and scroll down in its properties until we find what we want. We see that as image, because we are changing the image of the image label. So, script, oops, script dot parent dot image equals nothing no an image value in here 
is in fact a string. It's not a link variable, it's a string. So, if we run this by hitting F6, which is the new shortcut key, but it never works with my screen recorder. F6, play so, there we go. Ugh. And to answer some of your questions about which screen recorder I use, right now, I use Hypercam 2. I want to get Camstasia though. Alright, now, watch as I click this, and its image disappears. The reason for that is because now it is not given an image, and so it will not draw an image. Roblox image labels do not cache the image in case of an error. That was the main point about doing this uh, little part. The next part is to change it to an actual uh, image label. So, we're going to go to this inventory thing, and let's just look at uh, my decals. Um, we'll use this. Go over here, and as you all should remember how to get the texture, which is the same as an image label image property needs to be. We'll go into the script and put inside of these quotation marks this string. We'll press F6 and hope it. Yes, it works. Yes, Lord of Roblox Studio. And now we'll click. Lag. I will try to teach you guys a couple things on how to fix that lag issue that we just experienced as well. However, part of that lag issue was also because the Roblox visit was just starting up. Anyway, so you clicked it, it changed. If we click it again, it'll just lag and then change back to it. It's done. So, there you go. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.